Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and on this episode we're going to be doing something different. And if you notice right here, Betsy is gone out of her spot. And what we're going to do on this episode is we're going to deal with, where is it? Over here. So what I'm going to do with this car is we're going to go ahead and move it to, my bad, to this spot. And I'm going to actually move it sideways. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use some dollies on all four wheels and we're going to slide the car sideways underneath the tent all right let's get this done i got these wheel dolly jacks from northern tool and the reason i like them is because you just slide them underneath the wheels and it's a jack and a dolly at the same time you jack up the wheel, it kind of sque squishes the bottom and it kind of raises the, the car and they just basically just slide the car whichever way you need to go. Alright, let's see how it works out. All right guys, and here's what we got so far. She's now on the jacks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking all the parts off. Uh, parts that are loose, pretty much. I'm gonna take off these fenders. These are from my garage Mustang. I'm gonna take those off. I'm gonna take out all of these parts inside the car. Uh, I'm not even sure if the doors actually mounted because they were strapped down when I first got the car. This is the first time actually getting into it so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure these doors i mount to because i don't want to be taking them off and then they'll just fall off so what i'm going to do is probably uh there's a bolt i think for a fender right here i don't know if, if it's not huh, i think it's actually it might not be mounted so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take all the parts off fender all the stuff on the roof uh and put it all kind of laid out right here I'm gonna clean this area up and uh, we're gonna see what we're dealing with. So those uh, dollies actually worked out really good. And I like the fact that they have bigger wheels so it's a lot easier to go over little bumps like this and not get stuck. I'll have a link for, the, for these in my uh, description down below so if you guys need something like this, check it out, pretty useful. Uh, Cause those other flat dollies, they can buy a Harbor Freight, they're a little bit well, they're cheaper, obviously, but the wheels are smaller, so if you don't have a smooth uh, surface, it's not going to roll that well. So the goal on this episode is to pretty much clean her out, remove all the loose parts, and then put them all right here, and then uh, see what's going on. All right, let's go.
All right, guys, and here she is. Got everything removed, all the panels removed, doors removed, cleaned up all the debris on the inside. And honestly, it's one of the best um, rust, almost rust-free cars I ever had. I had to do a bunch of repairs back in the day, and this one has the most minimum rust problems that I've seen, especially for being this old. Uh, and that's because it's a California car. Now there are damages like this one, the radiator support, I don't know if they hit something here or something fell on it, not a big deal. I got a new one right here that I was going to install later. And then I got this apron piece right here because this one is kind of messed up underneath. So I'm gonna replace that later on. And then the radiator support, we're gonna replace that. And that's gonna be nice and straight. As far as the cal goes, there's no holes underneath, nothing's rusted through, so if I put water in there, it's not gonna leak on the floor. On these cars, almost 90% of the time, inside the cowl is rusted through and it just goes down to the floor because factory never uh, coated on the inside. So in this case, I looked down uh, with the flashlight in here and then I looked down from underneath. There's not a single rust through hole, so that's as good as it's gonna get. So I don't have to do the cowl repair on this one. As far as the floor goes, this is the, the only spot that would need to be replaced. Um, obviously, I don't want to replace the whole floor piece, but I just need to do this section, this square right here, and that would be perfect. Everything else, just a little surface rust. This is still original paint for this car, and you can even see uh, this is the original paint. This is the original paint. So, I mean, honestly, the best, I mean, it's not rust free, obviously, but it's surface rust. There's a lot of surface rust, but when you get this sandblasted, it's going to be uh, nice and clean. And then you throw epoxy primer on there and it's going to be perfect. Trunk area, same thing. No rust through spots, no holes, no nothing. No, nothing needs to be repaired. Uh, somebody did uh, do uh, quarter panels replacements. They did like half of it, like to the top here and that side. I mean, it might be it might be just fine, honestly. If I if I was to do it, I would honestly just replace uh, the whole the whole piece because they have a full size that goes to, from the roof here uh, all the way to the back of the trunk. But they also sell you know half quarters where you kind of overlap one another and then you just spot weld them to each other and then you just bond up and it's good to go. If you do them correctly, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's just one of those things. You gotta do it right for it to last forever. As far as the driver's side, perfect floor, original paint color, uh, no rust through holes. This is the biggest uh, problem right here. Seems like maybe they bent the floor with the jack or who knows what. I think it would be ideal to try to push that down so you don't have to replace uh, the metal and just keep that original. If that's doable, I think that might be doable, but, but it, it's one of those things that, um, is it worth doing or is it easier to cut out the whole front section and replace it all from here to there uh, because this transmission hole is kind of chewed up i don't know why people do this but it seems like on all the ones that i've seen people chew these out for whatever reason i have no idea why but it seems like nobody nobody's capable to cut out a straight square also another thing i found out about this car it's a factory ac car now that makes it even more rare because AC options were not on all the Mustangs and now you have one of one rare car with even AC, which is rare on its own. Uh, and so that's pretty cool. The tachometer has RPM gauge. These are about five, six hundred bucks on eBay because Shelby, those are basically what Shelby used because they have the RPM tech. and. On these cars, they're pretty expensive to find to use for this car because they're pretty pretty rare. And as far as the parts goes, I have the doors, I have the fenders, I have the hood. I have all of the interior panels that came in this car. Fold-down seats, uh, bumper, grill, interior panels. These are really hard to find. Fastback panels, those are hard to find. I got the lures. These go on the vents on top of here. I got a few sets of tail lights. I got uh, some trim pieces. I got everything. Uh, I think I think this this has everything that the car needs. I might, there might be a few little things here and there, uh, but it has most of the stuff. I also have the back fast fastback uh, glass. 
that's really rare that's expensive the windshield's cracked but those are really cheap because the coupes use the same one this one is the rare one also i got two two hoods i got the original one and then i got like a shelby style hood but it's not the longer one it's the one that would fit on this car without really installing the shelby nose and in this car because it's a one of one it, i would honestly never do um eleanor with this or even a bullet honestly this is the car uh that's that perfect car to do to original restoration because if you do restore something like this one of one, one of one car ac option california car almost no rust on it you know rust through holes basically that's what, what i'm saying when people say there's no rust on it surface rust doesn't count it's the rust through areas there's almost no rust through spots on here the frame rails are good everything is good tour boxes are good firewall is good everything is like it's it's solid it's a solid car to start with uh and something like this restored to a one of one car you're looking at 70 80 maybe even ninety thousand dollars on one of the auctions you know like the the barry jackson auction or the mecham auction and this is something you don't want to do like eleanor or a bullet and this is something you do uh to the original restoration just because the value of that is really important um on this vin so there you guys have it uh this is my temporary project for now uh i'm just gonna basically get what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna install the radiator supporting here and i'm gonna change that panel up and then for now i'm gonna put the fenders back on doors back on maybe even put all the the pieces inside the car and uh probably keep it in here underneath the roof so it doesn't rain on it i don't want it to be more rusty and then once i, I have some free time i'm going to take it and get it sandblasted and then primered so uh, that's going to be a good that's going to be the big first step to do on this project before any kind of work is to be started so guys i hope you enjoyed this video it's a little different new project thanks for watching if you're new to the channel please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one Thank you.